So yeah, today we'll be mostly covering how to import uh, VRM and MetaHuman characters. And so looking into custom VRM characters, I've been using this um, tool called Vroid Studio. I know there are quite a lot of people who are interested in VTuber characters have been using this. Um, and so I've just quickly created um, a custom avatar and I've also cheekily included uh, the logo in the in the eyes of the VRM character. So hopefully that's a bit of like um, branding there. But um, we've also um, we've also got to export this VRM character as VRM um, zero. So the first version of the VRM character, this is the most compatible with the plugin and you can easily swap out uh, the skeletal mesh in Unreal later. And then we'll be importing the VRM character into Content Browser. It will generate quite a lot of assets. So I encourage you to kind of put them all in a folder so that it's neatly tied up together. And we'll be also um, changing, like in the skeletal mesh actor, we'll be simply changing the skeletal mesh asset. And so uh, what I've done here is in the drop down chosen um, the imported character here so that it's for VRM character is very easy um, kind of swap, um, easy switch and swap use. Very um, So hopefully we'll be covering that a bit later. That will probably take just five seconds to do. Um, and there we go. Um, when you import your VRM character as well, you're able to choose what materials um, the uh, what material should be imported or like it should be set as. So um, the previous kind of VRM character we have is a um, tune shader, um, unlit tune shader. So it looks quite um, cartoony, but um, you can also experiment with different import settings. I think this one is subsurface profile where you get a lot more shadows um, and 3D quality to it with like a yeah, shadows reflection. So um, something to keep in mind if you want to, uh, depending on the kind of aesthetic quality you want for your character. Um, this is there, there is some wriggle room here for import settings. Then we'll also be covering um, custom metahumans. So um, for those of you who already worked with metahumans a lot, you can simply create metahuman from the metahuman creator on um, on Unreal Engine, but you can also down, um, download and add your MetaHumans to a project via Quixel, um, Quixel Bridge within the engine as well. So that's what I've done here. It takes quite a long time for it to download. So um, yeah, just be patient and we'll end up downloading um, when you, and then add to projects. Um, in the VTuber Studio, um, what you have to do is basically drag this um, metahuman blueprint into the scene and then transform it to fit the kind of like desk um, set up there. So that's what I've done. Um, in the early instance of this metahuman, um, it's not dressed yet. So we're looking into um, dressing the character uh, later. Um, but this um, this is also quite interesting because of how um, the project is programmed when you import and after you import and place the character into the scene, um, you'll have to choose actor hidden in game. This is because of some logic um, for the VTuber studio that um, it has to be hidden in game so that we can use the widget to, to toggle between the VRM character and the metahuman. So um, something to keep in mind. 
Um, other things you can do is because we've imported different sitting and standing animations from Mixamo and we've retargeted them to the MetaHuman rig, um, you may also apply some kind of like animations uh, to the MetaHuman. So under the blueprint you will find in the body you can change animations and if you scroll down a little in the project you will already see um, sit one two three uh, for me and once you um, once you change animations um, once you change animations you'll be able to see the metahuman animated to whatever uh, asset you've chosen um, and finally, you'll also have to choose um, to uh, create a reference of this uh, Julia Fox blueprint and then set the set the metahuman to the variable as well as making sure the AR kit face subject is working. And so this is the kind of like base result of what we're going to do. And now we're going to dive straight to um, the project and see how it goes. So I'm going to just open up the project here. Now it's just loading in the background. Cool, so, <laughs> sorry, that is a bit weird. Um, I've just rotated my phone sideways and I was hoping that um, Julia Fox wouldn't be rotated this much, but yeah, hopefully that's working. <laughs> um, cool, so, um, so as mentioned, oh, it looks like um, it's pretty strong on the GPU, so I'm just gonna refresh and open the project again. Hi, welcome to the stream. Um, we're just covering today how we can import your own VRM characters. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to cover um, quite a lot of like um, import settings and uh, import settings, swapping out your characters for the VTuber Studio. So, as mentioned, I'm going to use this avatar sample. Um, so, as mentioned, you can quickly swap out your characters by exporting a VRM character as VRM 0. Uh, 0. 0.0. So, what I'm going to do here is do this and export as VRM. I'm just going to choose the most basic, um, the most basic uh, titles, all of that, and making sure that this is. So. Um, for those of you who've just joined, uh, I have been using Vroid Studio. A lot of people who are interested in VRM characters use Vroid because it's very simple to use and you get your results very quickly. So, um, so just to save on my, the, my graphics, I'm going to change to Unlit for now to work in the project. Um, as mentioned in the presentation earlier, I've created this import VRM folder for you to quickly drag and drop your assets. For this, I'll create another character. So I'll name this character two in the folder. And from the export earlier, I'll be able to drag this, um, this same uh, VRM file into, into the scene. Because I've got a plugin um, activated already, um, this, you'll see this dialog here and I'm just going to choose the same. So auto M2 and lit and import. So as you can see, it will generate quite a lot of assets um, like materials, IQ rigs, textures, so on and so forth. So 
very quickly we've already imported our character and now we can simply um, click on the skeletal mesh which says SK VRM off world live. Um, the quickest way to swap out your characters is to um, select this um, skeletal mesh asset and then swap out to this character. So now you can um, you can see that there are different characters already imported and can be changed really quickly. So so now we have this character here. Um, and when I hit play, hit play. You'll, you'll see, see that, that there is, is um, um, this character that also has have live log enabled. So it's so tracking, it's tracking to my face. Um, like like so. so. So this is one really, really quick way for you to literally drag and drop your VRM character into the project and then swap out over here. Uh, alternatively, what you can do, just gonna save all my assets. Um, alternatively, what you can do is drag um, through Quixel Bridge, download assets, download, um, download a MetaHuman. So here I have a MetaHuman one. Um, I've downloaded this and added this to my project. And then in MetaHumans, I dragged this blueprint into the scene, as you can see here. Um, as you can see here. And so now I have a MetaHuman. Um, I'm just using an unlit uh, uh, way to see the scene so it's a bit easier. Um, so now you can see that the um, the metahuman uh, I've transformed it and positioned it right next to uh, the desk and under body. Um, I already have these retargeted animations, so these are the ones here. To so use sit one for for this metahuman character, and she's probably just typing something. Um, and now I'm gonna. I'm going to have to, because of how the template is created, I will have to make sure that MetaHuman is hidden in game because I'll be setting it to active in game later. So now back to this character. Um, one thing we have to do as well is to make sure that this character is referenced in the Cinecam capture and 360 cam capture. This is to make sure that um, in the kind of show only or alpha channel, you are referencing the right character. So here I've got the SKVRM off world live. We haven't changed anything to the skeletal mesh um, as uh, actor itself, so we don't have to worry about that. But for MetaHuman, we need to make sure that is selected to MetaHuman. So now I'll, I've made sure that um, in the alpha only, um, in, in the kind of alpha only uh, shots, we will reference the metahuman. So now, um, once you um, play, play, you'll be, you'll able, be able to, to see, see that, that there, there are two characters. characters. There's the there's metahuman, metahuman one, 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 and then and there's, there's also, also um, um, this new VRM VR character. character. I'm worried, I'm worried it will crash, crash because, because of this, of this new, new Unreal update, update but, but it's looking it's fine, fine at, the, at moment. the moment. This might this be, might a, bit be a bit scary, scary. So, so hopefully, hopefully not crash not this. this. Right, right. So, so yeah, yeah. yeah. This, this metahuman, metahuman is, working is working and tracking, and tracking to, my to my face. face. And, and if, if you, you um, um, clone, clone this project, this project from, from GitHub, GitHub, you will you also will see that this project, this project um, has, has audio, audio enabled, enabled now. now. So, so that's, that's great. great. We, have we have all the existing, existing output, output options, options. We, we, and we and also we have also different, different input, input options. options. For example, um, um, this, this is also, also working. working. So you can so see, that see that I have got Discord. In the background, in the background on my other, my other screen, screen, OBS, OBS as, well as well as this browser. This browser. So, so right now right we, now have, we have, have almost everything, everything uh, ready, ready for like for a VTuber, like a VTuber studio. studio. 
Um, we've got audio set up in the scene, and then we've also got different characters uh, for you to swap out or you can import into your own. Um, and we can also, um, and then we can also stream media in and out of Unreal. So quite a lot of progress since last time. I can also show very quickly what I've done to the audio of this VTuber studio. Um, so under audio, um, you'll see that there is an audio blueprint. So I've just created a blank actor blueprint and inside the blueprint, I've included audio capture. In here, I've made sure that the I've enabled bus sends and bass submix. Um, so now audio capture is capturing my microphone in. So, so that when you stream out, it will take together the background music and microphone in. Um, to get out um, to to stream out of Unreal. Um, I've also added a bit of audio volume, which is a kind of like a um, bounding box where reverb effects are applied to this box. So my mic, hopefully it enhances the microphone quality. Um, but yeah, these are most of the updates for this week's uh, VTuber Studio. Feel free to ask any questions. If you have any questions on like how to swap out your characters, we've covered how to swap out your levels last time with persistent levels. So hopefully that's also quite helpful. Um, but yeah, currently there's a really quick way for you to import your VRM or MetaHuman characters uh, like so. Um, like like so. Just gonna hopefully not crash by using this now. Okay. So yeah, there is a metahuman character and then there's also the RM character working with live link and audio. So it's a full package for when you need to um to be your character and do something and stream out or do video calls. Um stream to Twitch or YouTube um, or working in the background, um, all of those with animations and stuff. So yeah, hopefully this is a useful tutorial um, for how you can kind of swap out your characters and um, through this template project. But yeah, feel free to let me know if you have any questions. I'll just be around for uh, a bit today, but yeah. Um, Hopefully we'll be able to cover more topics as well. Feel free to suggest anything if you want. Um, but yeah, thank you very much.